Hello and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to take a look at factoring trinomials using AC method. In the example that we want to take a look at is 3x squared plus 8x plus 5. We're being asked to factor this. Now before we get to that problem um, there is something I'd like to remind you of so let's recall something from before. It's called factoring by grouping and you probably would have done this in a section, uh, maybe a couple sections ahead of what we're at right now. So let's say I want to factor by grouping. Well, that occurs when you have a four-term polynomial, maybe something like this, and we're trying to factor it. And the idea of grouping is that you can sometimes uh, group your terms into two different pairs like this. Now these parentheses don't mean anything except that they're showing you what the groups are. So we're pairing up the first two, we're pairing up the second two. And then what you do is you factor each group. You're not factoring the entire polynomial. You know, you're not taking out the common factor from all four terms. You're just grouping and picking out the common factor from each pair. So from the first pair you can factor out x squared and that's going to leave x minus 5 because if you take x squared out of x to the third, x is left. You take the x squared out of 5x squared, and the 5 is left. Now, do the same thing over here from the second pair. What can come out between these two terms? Well, only a 3. So it's going to be 3 times, well, if I take the 3 off of the 3x, it's just x. And if I divide 3 out of 15, it's just 5. Now the key here and where grouping works is if, no it's a big if, it's if you go through this process and then you notice that you've got the same factor in both of these locations. So you've got x minus 5 in both spots here. And then what you do is you factor that out. And then it's times what's left. Okay, well when I take this x minus 5 out, what's left is x squared and when I take this x minus 5, it also came out, what's left is plus 3. So the factorization is x minus 5 times x squared plus 3. All right, so what does this have to do with 3x squared plus 8x plus 5? Well, what it has to do with that is that the AC method is used to actually take a three-term polynomial like we have right here, sometimes called a trinomial, and you actually turn it into four terms and then you use grouping. So it's going to be using those techniques that we just reviewed. Okay, so let's go through this. So you remember with a trinomial of this form, we call them quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c. a is the number on the x squared, b is the number on the x, and c is the constant. So a is 3, b is 8, and c is 5. Now we need to know that because in the AC method the first thing you do is you compute AC or A times C. So you're going to take 3 times 5 and you take the signs with it so it's a plus 5 and it's a 3 so AC is 3 times 5 which is 15. And what we do next is we look for a pair that does two things it multiplies to the number we just computed. It multiplies to AC, or in other words to 15, and then it adds to B. It adds to the number on the X. It adds to 8 in this case. So we need to find a pair of numbers that multiplies to a positive 15 and at the same time adds to positive 8. And the technique we usually go through for this is we just start listing what are the possible pairs of numbers that multiply to 15? Just start with that. Well, there aren't too many. It could be 1 times 15, or it could be 3 times 5, and that's it. Okay, well, which of these two pairs could add to 8? And you can very quickly see 1 and 15 can never add to 8, whether they're positive or negative, but 3 and 5 might work. And then you just make sure the signs would work. What should they be? Positive, negative, one of each? Well, we want it to multiply to positive 15 and add to positive 8. So just 3 and 5 would work. Okay, so that's the pair that we want. 
Now here's the big thing that people often mess up in the AC method. What you do with those two numbers is you split 8x, you split the b term up here at the top, you split that into two terms using the numbers you just came up with, the 3 and the 5. So you split 8x into 3x plus 5x, or 5x plus 3x, it doesn't matter. Now watch what happens. So 3x squared plus 8x plus 5 becomes 3x squared plus 3x plus 5x plus 5. Okay, the 3x plus 5x, that, that was the 8x over here. Now it's four terms, so we do grouping, and we pair them up, just like we did on the review problem we did before this. So I put parentheses to pair the first two, and then the second two, 3x squared plus 3x, and 5x plus 5. Now we factor from each pair. What can I factor out between 3x squared and 3x? Well, if you said 3x, you're correct, so we factor out 3x. And what's left? Well, when I divide 3 and x out of 3x squared, all that's left is an x. And when I divide 3x out of 3x, all that's left is a 1. Now, if what should happen over here is, for the second pair, I should be getting the same leftover in the parentheses. So try to pull something out that's going to create this same thing, this x plus 1, over here on the right. And if you thought 5 would work, then you would be correct. If we pull out 5, we get x plus 1. Okay, that should have been a 5 up there. Don't know why I wrote 15. Okay, now there it is. x plus 1, x plus 1 is in both locations, so you factor it out, and it's x plus 1 times what's left. Well, when you take out this x minus x plus 1, 3x is left. When you take out this x plus 1, plus 5 is left. So your final factorization is x plus 1 times 3x plus 5. And you could FOIL that out to check that that really is equal to 3x squared plus 8x plus 5.